that didn't quite work. Hey guys, it's Elja here. Welcome back to another Squatchcraft video. I am really excited because I have this pixel heart mold today and I'm so excited to use this. Um, yeah. I have a plan, we're going to include some acetate, we're going to have, it's going to be great, I can't wait to make this. Now, it's not a coaster, you know, this is a sort of coaster sized mould here, so it's sort of like a small tray, um, I guess it could be a very large coaster or if you did it in heat resistant it could be a pot rest or something like that. Um, I'm going to have this as a wall art piece, I cannot wait, I'm so excited to make this one um, and I'm going to have some some video game inspiration behind it, so if you're interested in seeing that then please keep watching. Okay so I'm going to be using this opaque red and opaque black from Resonate, I absolutely adore Resonate pigments, they are, they are brilliant and a little bit goes a long way. So first I'm going to divide some small cups. I'm also going to be using the Opaque White by Resonate, which you know I love. I, I use that thing to death. I'm on my third bottle. So I've mixed up the colours. First thing I'm going to do is do like the glistening shadow. It's not a shadow, is it? The highlight even <laughs> um, on the side of the heart. And then I'm going to start colouring in the red side. So all I'm doing is just putting a blob in each square so I know roughly what colour it's going to be and kind of filling it. I want to make sure the entire square is filled but I don't want to overfill it and make it um, difficult once I put the backing colour on. So I'm just going around being very careful not to do any red into the white. I would suggest that you do these at different times. I would pour the white and then leave it a little bit, let the white cure just to make sure. But hey, you're learning from me. I made the mistakes so you don't have to. I then decided to do black all around the edge. Um, again, this was a complete waste of time. I shouldn't have done the black edge right now. Um, I'm going to make the whole backing black. So I could have just left this and done a large pour at the end. Would have made my life so much easier. So yeah, you don't need to do this section. This was just a, a bit of a waste. But I thought I'd show you what I did the first time because there were some mistakes, some issues of efficiency and some just stupid moments. <laughs> so yeah, this was a, this was a, an efficiency. I didn't need to do the black, it was unnecessary, but I filled the black around the edge as you can see. I've done the little bit of the white, done the red around it and I'm trying to tidy up where I've dripped color where it shouldn't be. Another reason why you shouldn't do the black right now because you just end up with black bits where you don't need them. So I'm going to continue filling in the red um, and what I'm going to do with this heart is I'm going to have one heart, one half of this heart, wow, uh, that is red as you can see and then I'm going to have one heart, one half of this heart, oh my gosh, that is not. So down this centre line I'm just doing every other square red so it's going to look like the two parts are interlocked and they are pixelated which is you know the entire point of this heart so i'm just doing every other one in red and then the other side of the heart the squares are going to be white um just so that you then can see the black grid lines behind them uh the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to put this phrase get a life um if you play video games you know that the hearts usually represent life so that's the phrase i was going to use so what I'm doing is I'm just blocking out how much space I need and I'm filling that gap where the phrase will go with clear resin. So I've sort of figured out it's a 4x4 four four square and I'm just filling all of those sections with clear resin. Now this was my first big mistake. Once I put them in you can see that I start tidying up. You see I'm, I'm swiping away excess resin. This was my first mistake. If you're going to do this, do not swipe away that excess resin. You need the excess resin there for this to work. But hey, I said I'd keep my mistakes in for you. So once that is done, I'm then going to use some more of the Resonate Opaque White and just fill in the other side of the heart with the white around that gap. 
and then when I come back to you we'll look at how I made my next fatal flaw shall we say <laughs> Okay, so the next step was to attach our frays. So what I decided to do was to use a no wipe top coat UV resin. So I'm coating the underside of the frays with it and then sticking it down in the right spot and I'm going to use my UV light to cure it. So UV resin is just a single type of resin, you don't need to mix it and it cures by UV light. Once I had done that, I then went round all of the edges with the same um, material to try and blend it and make sure it was connected to the white squares around it and again just held it in place do not do this <laughs> um, this this is not a thing to do do not do this this is a mistake i'm just leaving it in to show you my process and how it went wrong once that was done i mixed up a little bit more of that opaque white by resonate i'm just going to pour it on top of the phrasing i do apologize for the slightly jerky camera i was holding it with one hand and doing the other because my tripod broke in the middle of me filming this um you know when everything goes wrong yeah it was one of those days <laughs> but i thought i'd let you at least see what i was doing what i then did was mix up a coat of black once this was cured and poured it over the back okie dokie it is time to demold our heart piece so yeah as you can see i put the black coating over the back and now we're gonna pop it out and i cannot wait to get this off um, I really want to see what it looks like from the front. I really do. I want to see how the um, the phrasing looks in it. And yeah, I'm so excited to demold this one. Um, I'm just doing a voiceover because my original audio corrupted. I do apologise. Uh, we'll be back to it in just a sec. Remove the mould before we reveal. That didn't quite work. Other than that, it looks really pretty. But the actual message didn't come through properly. These have not secured well. That is a real bloody shame. Ah. <sighs> Let's go again, shall we? I learnt quite a lot from the first go round, so let's do it properly and give you some actual tips this time. I'm going to be using the same colours, opaque red, opaque black, opaque white, all from Resonate. Just going to be doing them in a slightly different way. So the first thing that I did, I used the opaque white, and again we're going to do that sort of glimmery highlight section, um, which is going to be inside the red side of the heart. So that's going to be exactly the same as the initial process. What I'm also doing is going around the side of the phrasing with the white so I can figure out where I need the clear to be. However, what I discovered was I went a little bit tight and actually once those squares were completely filled in rather than just dotted, it did actually obscure some of the phrasing. So I had to remove a few pieces as you can see, I'm just clearing out a couple of the squares because, yeah, I had I had done it slightly wonky, but that's okay. That's something you can do. Take your time. We figure out exactly where you want your phrasing. I just thought that going round it with the white first would give me a much clearer view of where I wanted the clear. Then we did the glistening highlight, same as previous. 
The next step that's going to be exactly the same as the previous is we're going to add the red in. We're going to add the clear where the phrase is going to be. Um, and then we're going to touch on what I've done differently this time. So I'm just clearing out those white gaps where I had inadvertently filled the wrong square. Take your time with this. Just figure out which squares you need filled and which you don't. Now my phrase fits in it perfectly. I'm going to fill the centre of that with clear resin. Okay, And that clear resin is going to allow me to just attach the phrase. Now last time when I did the clear resin, you'll notice that I was scraping off excess so it was nice and flat. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, what I'm going to do this time is have it so that it is um, full of resin. So then I can attach the phrasing directly to it. Now what I noticed was where I need to do my red white alternate squares. I had filled them in in white. I was a little bit too eager. Again, take your time. I was flustered because it didn't work the first time. And I just wanted to make it work. But again, if you realise these things quick enough, like I did, you can make it work. So now I'm just going back through adding in the red where it needs to be during that divide. And then I'll complete the rest of the colours as I did in the previous bit. I'm not going to make you watch that because it's exactly the same. Just go through, fill out each square so that we know what colour it's going to be. Once they're done, and you can see I've filled that centre part where the phrase is going to be with some clear resin. I've let it all cure and I'm adding more clear resin. Not UV resin. I'm adding the clear epoxy resin. I've mixed it up. I've added the resin and the hardening together and I'm adding that on top. And what I'm going to do is basically fill that section up. So when I add the phrase, the phrase bonds with that resin. When I did it with the UV resin, what happened was there was gaps and that is why those pieces fell out. So to avoid that, I just used epoxy resin for the whole thing. And then in exactly the same way, I'm just covering the phrase with the white so that it is definitely readable from the front. Because that's the most important thing is that we can read the phrasing um, and then again I'm just going to do a pure black coat as you can see I didn't do the edge because I don't need to I can do that when I pour the black and that is a way to be a lot more efficient so now that that's cured as you can see one black layer covers everything you get the grid lines you get the border it's perfect Okay, okay, before we big demold this, I just want to say if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. It means a great deal that you do support what I do. I do resin videos on a Friday, and on a Tuesday, I do mixed media y paper crafty things, and then throughout the year, I do different hops and collaborations, are usually on a Saturday, but not always. Let's get back into it. Okay, let's hope that this is more successful than the first one. So hopeful. The red is definitely better. Okay, as you can probably see, there are a couple of spaces where the resin and the mould are sticking together. We had a heat wave in the UK. It was very, very hot. It was very, very humid. Resin does not like very, very hot, very, very humid. <laughs> Um, in much the same way, if you use a torch or something, you can fuse your mould and your resin. When it is very, very hot, the same thing can happen. All I did, I got my heat gun out, I applied a little bit of heat to the spaces where it was sticking, and I was able to peel it off nice and easily. Well, that's frustrating. However, I love it. I love it. It worked beautifully. Works better than I thought it would, which is good. Now, the use of resin, it's been so hot here, so hot the last few days that, um, yeah, the resin is, is reacting, unfortunately, with the heat, which is frustrating, but... Red is definitely much brighter colour. Bring another one over. You can just see the difference in the red. It actually looks red rather than this sort of 
in the room and the phrase worked beautifully. About you, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to stick this mould in the freezer. See if we can get those little bits of resin off. Yeah. What do you think? The phrasing worked beautifully. You can see it all. It works really well. I love this. This is going to go up on our wall. I love it. So please, second one worked out. So yeah. Again, it's bit forward thinking, figuring out the best way. Because I could have just put this phrasing right on top. But my logic being, do I have any acetate right now that I can use? That's really small, so you're not going to get the same effect. But if I put it on top, Okay, the black line just erases the text, so you can't really see it. Can't read it at a distance, which is why I wanted to do it without the black text in the centre. What I could have done is just filled all of that white, and again put the sign on top, but I like being able to feel the pixels. I don't know if it's just me, I like being able to feel the pixels. Um, but let me know what you think. And um, yeah, thank you very much for spending time with me today guys, keep crafting and I'll see you all soon.